Body moving is the original way to export a Lottie animation from After Effects, but now we have the Lottie Files plugin from Lottie Files that does the same thing. But we want to know which one is better and which one should you use. Let's dive in. So here we are in After Effects and we have the body moving plugin up here and we have the Lottie Files plugin. And this is the first launch of the Lottie Files and it's asking me to sign up. Can we get started for free? So first thing that's different is that you must have a Lottie's file account in order to use this plugin. Otherwise you are stuck at this page. That may be an issue for some people if you're in like a corporate setting, in like an enterprise machine, maybe there'll be permissions and things like that, that you'll be limited uh, and won't be able to use this. And in that case, body moving will be the, the thing for you. But let's go ahead and log in. All right, we're logged in and here we are. So pretty similar interface. So we have, we, we're seeing all of our compositions here. We can search for them in the same way. We have our settings that we can click here and it's organized very differently. So in looking at the settings between the Lottie Files plugin and the Body Moving plugin, the Body Moving plugin has significantly more granular settings that you can use in order to customize the export of your Lottie file. Exporting with the demo checked in Body Moving is really helpful for just previewing it locally, making sure that things don't look weird. This one, you can also export things to Rive. You can do it at a standalone, so it has the player and the animation in a single JSON file. But then everything that the Lottie file plugin has, Body Moving has, plus some more. Whether those things are super helpful or not is depending on your specific situation and where this Lottie file is going to live one day. So Lottie Files plugin is definitely a little bit more simple. In the Lottie Files plugin, we also have these other tabs that basically link into the Lottie Files website and library of a bunch of different free Lottie File animations that you could get. There's not usually a lot of situations where you're wanting to take a Lottie File and re-import it into After Effects because usually the animation data is a little bit messy, but that's there if you needed that. And then you also have an opportunity to save your exported Lottie files into like your own project workspace so that you can share them amongst other people that you're working with. Let's take a look at the two animations that we're going to render out. So we have this one here, which is a simple shape animation. We're only using position and rotation. We have a rounded rectangle with a stroke on it, and it's just doing this nice looping animation. On the other one, we're using a PNG, and we just have this simple scale up and scale down. Oh yeah, don't forget to subscribe if you want more of these tips. And so we're gonna see how does it do with PNG in a Lottie file and how does it do with just a shape layer. So let's go ahead and select both of these. Let's, our PNG export Lottie, let's make sure that we unselect everything that we don't need. We're definitely gonna do a demo for local preview and we're going to include the assets inside of the JSON file. And we can also do some compression here. Sometimes it helps, sometimes it really doesn't do anything. We'll go ahead and we'll save that. For the shape Lottie, we don't need anything selected except for the demo preview. And let's go ahead and select the destination. All right, so body moving is set up. Now let's go over to Lottie files. So we're gonna go to the settings of the PNG. We'll unselect extra comps. We'll go here to assets and we'll make sure that we include the assets in the JSON. There's no setting here to compress or optimize those images. So that's kind of a missed thing for the Lottie plugin. And that's kind of it. So I'll save that. Go here to the other, the shape animation. We don't need to include any of the assets in the JSON. I don't know where these things are going to render to because there's no path destination folder, but we'll see. So let's go ahead and render both out. So body moving rendered super quick. Lottie files though is not rendering anything at all. Let's try that again. Let's save our After Effects file and try that again. Well, this is unfortunate. So I closed the, the plugin, reopened it. It had some sort of weird glitch. Maybe it was because I already rendered with body moving first. We can see that there's a preview here immediately, which is which is really nice. You can see the shape Lottie is right here. Okay, so you can preview it right inside of the plugin. That's kind of nice. And then you have the option to download it. To download this animation, save it to a workspace. All right, check this out. To download this animation, save it directly to a workspace first. Upgrade to download animation directly. What is this? So let's hit upgrade. Okay, so here we go. All right, so there's a paywall with the Lottie Files plugin, which is really unfortunate that you have to pay at least $19 a month if you want to download that Lottie file immediately from export. Let's check out the other way. So it's I can download it if I save it to a workspace first. So let's see. Okay, save to workspace. We'll do it here. We'll upload it. Okay, and now I can download it. Okay, so now I can download the JSON and there's this optimized JSON. I'm curious what that does. The file size hasn't come up yet, but you can also see that this is behind this little crown, which to me would make me assume that that is a paid feature. I'm also unfortunate that that's behind a paywall as well. It's also taking a long time to actually optimize. 
So we'll go ahead and we'll download the actual JSON. So I just saved one of the files and I had already rendered out both of them, but now I cannot find my way back to the PNG export. So I guess we have to re-export that. Let's make sure that we're including the assets still. Yep, that's in there. So this is not a great bug. If I select this and then wanna go change the settings and change some stuff and hit save, it's unchecked and nothing is available to render. So that's kind of just like an unfortunate bug. So let's go ahead and render that out. Render it out and you can see in this preview that that is a like image missing type of placeholder. And so it's not actually showing my PNG in there. So we'll go ahead and select that. And that is not at all what the animation is supposed to be because if we remember our animation should look like this, you know, to remind people to subscribe. And this is not the same as this. So that's not good. Let's see if we download it, if that helps us out. But in order to download it, got to save it to your workspace first. So let's save it to our workspace. Upload. Okay. Couldn't upload it. All right. Well, let's try again. We're going to, we're going to give it a good, we're giving it a good thorough chance. Can't. Okay. Maybe if I stop and then I save it. Nope. All right. Well, if you want to use anything with the PNG, Lottie Files plugin is just not going to work. Unless I guess you pay for the upgraded version, which then you could download it immediately. And it says it will be only 0.8 kilobytes. Okay, here's our feature support checker. And that's kind of nice. Uh, we also have test in Lottie Files mobile app, render graph. Okay, that's nice. It changed the background. Okay, so there's some nice features in this preview. But I actually think that the body moving also has a preview function as well. And I can actually preview it here. Okay, so there's actually a preview inside of body moving, which is nice. And you can change between Scotty and the browser and see the differences. So that's nice. Loop the animation, lock it to timeline. So those are kind of nice. And you can also change the, the background color. I know there's a lot of you that have asked about, oh, why don't, why don't I use the newer Lottie Files plugin? So this is my answer. The body moving plugin is just simple. There's no paywall nonsense. PNG exports work. There's a lot more export customization if you're getting into hairy situations where animations are just not working correctly and it's just reliable. And so definitely recommend the body moving plugin for all of your Lottie exports. Catch y'all next time.